Hi all, it's approaching 11.30, it's that time, Chess24 Banter Blitz. Okay, before we get into the Blitz challenges, there's the voucher code King's Crusher, you can see there, King's Crusher, if you go to chess24.com slash premium, and you can get to challenge the likes of Magnus Carlsen, other Grandmasters, International Masters, uh, and uh, and even me uh, at 11 30 a.m uk time every sunday so what more could you want <laughs> okay so uh, let's go to the uh, challenges page now and pick off the first challenge jetzel okay jetzel hi there morning okay i'll uh, Play E4, I think. <clears throat> okay. Let's see three. And maybe a closed Sicilian to start off with. So I'm hoping it's it's like a reasonably solid start position. This closed Sicilian. Uh, maybe I could consider taking. I'm thinking knight f4 later. All right, maybe I'm going to lose that finch out bishop. There might not be too much to show. From the opening here, on that loss to the light square bishop, oh well. I hope maybe knight f4 and queen f3, I, t I take over that diagonal. At least. I'm a reasonably good control over d4 with that, those double pawns. So uh, rook e1, bishop d2, okay, control e5 as well. Bishop d2, double the rooks. That's uh, interesting. Or is a4 a reasonable move? Yeah. Maybe uh, at the moment, I think knight d5 is impossible. I just take. Oh no, it's possible. Okay. Maybe if I, I'll try and make it impossible with bishop d2 and, and doubling the rooks. So if knight d5, I will just take and then win e7. So bishop d2 and double the rooks. Okay. I wonder is G four G five any good? All right, it's pretty solid for black at the moment. Can I provoke at least a weakness like G six? So I'll provoke some weaknesses. Uh huh. And if I play bishop h6 here, what would happen? Is there knight c3? There's knight f6 there. G takes, queen takes h5. Is looking a little bit dangerous for black. Oh, I think I will go for that. So knight c3, knight f6 is winning, I think. G takes is dangerous for black. I would have hoped. I hope this is dangerous for black. Am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. It's possible. I have been wrong before. Okay, uh, if I take on f8... Or rook e5, c4. We might need to take on f8. It's a little bit. Uh, it's interesting. If knight c3, queen e5, there's bishop g7, right? Okay. Queen g5 here. 
Is that any good? Maybe c5 can be picked up. Bishop g7, queen takes c5. I've created an imbalance anyway. Probably not a brilliant imbalance for me, but an imbalance nevertheless. Let's try and complicate things a little bit from what I thought was nothing continuation moving the night back. So a little bit of imbalance created. Uh, like queen c3 here. If I take, take here and try and play over here, yes. Um, Rook B three. Oh, it's not looking amazing. Rook not F three. Maybe rook e4 coming up. Oh, I'm just blundered uh, the rook, haven't I? Oh, that wasn't clever. I uh, can't do this. Uh, I get pawn at a6 at least. As long as the bishop's. Uh, Can I use these pawns over here? Or not? Um, it's not too clever, is it? I'm going to be losing that other pawn now. It's not too clever at all. Uh, um, try and get over to F7 or something. Before it's too late. Ah. C4. Okay. I'm running out of uh, tricks here. I think. Is there one trick to get a king to uh, h6? seen that yes yeah, so I seem a bit doomed here my king's too far away oh I thought he could just take and then oh There's no real chance here, is there? Apart from the clock. I mean, you can do it though. Okay, more plays. Very dangerous opponent. Underrated, I think. Okay. I I, I think probably maybe too many imbalances. <laughs> Copy it uh, Let's have it. Okay, uh, knight b5 here. Huh? Oh, 
Okay, so knight c4 and uh, knight d5. Knight C4 coming up, is that something or not? Maybe I should take and then Knight C4. I think Bishop B4 C3. I think knight b6 here is dangerous. As rook d8, um, maybe king f2, c4, that sort of thing. Hmm. King f2 coming up. Two and rook e one. Alright, so the bishop pair here looks interesting. King f two and rook e one. Or maybe a five. Okay, there's bishop d eight. I'll take this file. So for rook d7, maybe okay, this bishop here. Is a bit loose, but there's knight b. Okay, there isn't knight b. Or is there b three? Maybe b three is better than bishop d five. I go back here. Oh, rook d seven looks good. Okay. Uh, um yeah this diagonal if rook c1 there's b5 um c3 immediately knight c2 rook c1 knight e3 i don't know about that that might oh that might be the best or just taking on d4 I assume this a5 maybe. Oh, there's rook c5. All right. Okay. Let's put that on a light square. King d3 and rook e1. Alright, 
so putting pressure on B7. Okay, so B4, B5. Some bishop C6 coming up. Some light square pressure anyway. Okay, I'll take those light squares, which should be weakened however. But, um, G4, G5. Or G5 around about here with that X-ray. Okay. Uh, G5 then, coming like this. Right, that bishop's uh, going back to e6, I think, rookie 2 and f5. Okay, f5 here for rookie 2. And uh, right, is there enough to try and win this? Okay, if I put my bishop on c8, let him play e5. I suppose. Oh, there's there's an opportunity. So bishop e4, rook e8. All right, thanks, Kavita. Yeah, that was that was getting tricky. Olman, a three minute game. Olman, a three minute game. Okay. And uh, Tango here. Hmm. So Bishop C5 and D6. A A6, Bishop A7 is my plan usually. And uh, Bishop E7, Queen C8. Or H6. I wonder if he will allow... Yeah, I think it's dangerous, this, anyway. Even if King H3 is played... Oh! I thought I thought King H2 had to be played. There's Queen G4 here, G3, though. I'll just see what he does here. This looks dangerous. Okay. Am I pushing it too much? There's bishop f3, maybe, but then h5 and knight g4. I've had those sort of positions before a lot. They're usually quite interesting. Okay, so... Am I misplaying this? It should be okay. My rook's loose. G6, King G7. I think I have messed it up a little bit. It's not usually as difficult as this after an H3 sack, as far as I remember. So anyway, but G6, King, G7. Okay, no, that's, that's asking for trouble. All right, if I take on um, then Knight G4. Maybe Queen F5. Well, there's queen c5 to factor in. Queen f5. No, no, no. Let's, let's stop queen. Oh, hang on. Okay, I, I will be losing a pawn. Oh, 
I have made it difficult. Oh, that's a shame. Um, yeah, okay, I'm losing C7. Can I? Right. Okay, I thought you'd play Queen C5. I'll, I'll stop Queen C5. Rook H6, King G8. Right, C5 here to try and. Oh, hang on, he's got d7. I think king g8 there, rook e8, king h7. All right, I'll bank on king g8, I think, on d7. This is getting very scary. No, no, it doesn't work. The eight. Whoops. <laughs> Just lost the rook. Okay. It's only a three minute game. Uh if I lose the rook, it's not totally the end of the game immediately. There's, he's only got twenty seven seconds. So ninety five king g six. Maybe it's not the end of the world totally. Okay, the exchange as well. But the king isn't being mated here. So I'd still say I've got... Maybe I'm too optimistic. I thought I've got a chance here. With h3, it looks as like... Um... Queen G4. Yeah, ooh, that D7. <laughs> that D7, yeah, no, I had some problems there. Emerging, okay, three minute game. Wow. Okay. Chess blitz. I'll play this gambit. So bishop g2 and then castle. I like this gambit. H4 knight g5. Oh, it's quite solid at the moment. Is he playing for C5? Oh, similar sort of sack. I think, although it didn't work out that well, it in principle, oh. This has to be very, very strong here. This has to be very, very strong here. Very, very strong. Come on. Come on. This has to be a wipeout. There's things like bishop e4 coming in. There's a mechanism, bishop h7, g6, taking f7.
I wouldn't have thought there's any defense. Queen d4, bishop h7, king h8. Where is that? Oh, no, no, maybe queen d4. Oh, right. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh. is there a defense? Yeah, maybe. Oh, maybe there is. Queen d4, but it's a three minute game. He's only got 30 seconds. Yeah. All right, it's dangerous. Thanks. It's dangerous. Okay, a lot of three minute challenges today. That's fun. Okay, Kenny. <clears throat> Hi, Kenny. Okay. All right, I've, I'll have to do the elephant thing. One elephant, two elephants, three elephants. Okay, we got a game. Kenny. Is it going to be a London system? So, Bishop G7, Knight F6, Castle, and I hope for the best. Queen A E five E five E four coming up. Okay, I'll weaken a few uh, squares here and there. Oh well, Queen E seven, Knight C four E four. I just put them want to protect C seven. So knight c4, okay, so e4, knight d2, knight e5. Is that reasonable? a6 and c5 later. Okay, so a6, aiming for c5. So I didn't want knight b5. b6 and bishop b7 would be good, surely, because there's rook a d8. Connect the rooks. I mean, the bishop's useful on, um, on here, b7. Then rook a d8, knight d3. So eighty eight and ninety three. Okay, I think Queen E three and Queen E two. Not good. All right, so he can't take, otherwise the rook's lost. Okay, I'll just take it here. Oh, hang on, I'll just drop d3, haven't I? I'll just drop d3, didn't need to do that, did I? Oh well. Uh, here we go again, back to square one. It's a reasonably, it looks like a nice position anyway. Knight h5 to f4 or knight g4. a4 and um. Ah. Uh -huh. I'm going to take the bishop d4. And as a check, I can get to double the pawns here. And rookie two. All right, I think I'll just take my pawn here. Okay. 
that mind ending. Oh. Alright, can I win B2 for A4? Alright, thanks, Kenny. Okay. Uh, Nicola, 56. So bishop c5 and uh, drop the bishop back. So if I castle in d5. And so d6 and knight e5. Or, uh, okay, so... If F3, D6, okay. D5 here. For D4. Hmm. Uh, C6 and Bishop G4. C6 and Knight G4. C6, Bishop E6, I think Bishop E6, F rook E1, Bishop E6, try and keep solid, get the rooks connected, Queen D6, looks good on Knight F4, Queen D6, why don't I play Bishop G4 there, hang on a sec, no, 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 yeah, yeah, Bishop G4 was winning a piece, Muppets, Muppets, I've realised that now, okay, Oh, did I play that? I'll play that too quickly. That's Bishop G4, the concrete threat. Yeah, it was actually, I think it was winning a piece just then. Whoops. Uh, here it might be winning the queen, though. Well, I mean, it forces knight f5. Knight, knight f5 is a counter, unfortunately. For me, knight. Oh, that's tricky, is that knight f five? Actually, you know what? I just realised something. There's queen b four here. Looking at e one, but then there's c three. That then there's queen b two. But queen b four is uh, surely dangerous. If knight h6 takes, I'm on e1, so c3, queen b2. I think this has to be critical, surely. Even if there's knight h6. Well, knight h6, actually, maybe there's there's king f8. I think c3 is the move here. Queen b2, any knight h6, king f8. Well, this is worse for c3, because... Queen, I'm, I'm on e1 here. I got rookie one now as a threat or queen e1. So rookie one coming in. Well, queen b2. Right, so just yeah, and then rookie one is my all right. All right, thanks for the game, Nicola. Okay, uh, blunder panda. I'm gonna try e4 again, even though it didn't work out in the, the first game in the session. Okay, maybe uh, Smith Mora Gambit, Smith Mora Gambit. My castle and uh, rookie one. Hmm. Oh, an early f six like that. That's 
odd, isn't it? I don't remember that. I think the recipe here is a knight d5 when black isn't looking. So queen e2, rook fd1, knight d5, because this diagonal has already been compromised. I've got Espen's Mayhem in the Mora, and I think knight d5 comes up a great deal as a major theme. So rook fd1, knight d5 coming up. I think especially in these lines with the weakened diagonal, you're sort of liberating the b3 bishop across here when you play knight d5 as well as it's just liberation of pieces, threatening things like bishop c7 anyway. So I think this is going to be very good, knight d5. I played Esmen recently. I, I had two matches with Esmen recently. One was 10 free with five draws. That was a, a three minute chess. And the other one was brutal at two minute chess. I managed to lose <laughs> horribly at two. He's actually, he seems a lot stronger than me on two minute chess. And it was like 14 one. <laughs> I think I'm not going to play him in a while, for a while at two minute chess. But anyway, that was fun. Uh, playing Mark Esmond. He's a bit of a legend for the, the Smith Mora. So anyway, uh, this diagonal is surely, okay, it's sensitive for black. Knight d4 to f5. Maybe to put pressure here rather than knight e5. I think knight d4, knight f5 might be the, the recipe here. Knight f5 coming up. So knight f5, maybe king h1, f4. So unpinning this gives me f4 as a threat. But immediately I think knight f5. So king h1, knight f5, uh, f4. But I mean, maybe he's okay here. Maybe he's gonna, is he gonna castle queens? I hope he's not. I mean, maybe I can stop him castling queenside. Oh, okay, so back to this. If bishop b7, I can try and stop him casting queenside. Does he manage to do things here or not, basically? Intriguing. There's also another resource if needed, queen h5. But at the moment, I think um, f4 coming to try and get some of these pins going. f4 here, or knight f5 here, it looks tasty. I'll try and win a pawn if nothing else. It looks tasty. It looks as though that's very tasty because I'm, there's a lot of pressure points. G7, D6, E7. In fact, there's even Rook D6 and Queen E7 here. So let's imagine he plays Knight. Oh, it looks as though it's all over. Knight E5. Knight, it looks over to me. This looks very bad for Black. Knight E5. Knight D6. This looks no, 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 no. no. You don't want to do this. All right, it carries on. Okay, knight takes d6 is at least winning an exchange. Uh, after knight takes f7, I'll be winning an exchange. Or I'm threatening queen e7 now. It's devastating. It's still devastating. The position has just collapsed for black. Uh, I'm threatening too much. Queen e7, knight f7. Yeah, it's too much. No, 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 no. This looks no, 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 too much. If knight g6, knight f7, and then queen e8. All right, there's queen e7 here. One last cheapo is queen c6, I suppose. If I mouse slip, then I'll get mason on g2. But I should be able to play f3 after bishop f7. Okay, but the yeah, last last chance is queen c6. Okay, thanks for that. Yeah, that was that was too dangerous. 
Don't don't my name's okay. Let's try and get that Smith Morrow again. Oh, he's inviting me to play this. Okay, guys, you are, you guys are sports today. <laughs> okay, 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 <laughs> okay. This this is a really dangerous gambit for blitz chess. I mean, one of the most dangerous, I'd say. Queen e2, rook fd1 is an easy to play position, usually, but maybe this is different. I'm st there's still a theme of knight d5 coming up. So rook fd1, knight d5 is still a theme, even with black castling. Because anytime this diagonal opens up, okay, it's taking that out, okay, it's different, okay. But I still okay positioning bishop d6 and a4 just positioning trying to keep a bind on the position positioning so a4 is that a liability of some sort the bishop on d6 knight e5 okay this is safer for black than that other game e5 oh all right Am I going to regret losing the bishop? He's going to make me regret losing this bishop, isn't he? I'm just hoping this c8 bishop is a bit dead for a while. Am I creating tactical liabilities here with the uh, rook on d6? Or is e5 going to be good? He's kind of pinned though to d7. It's not just pretty. It is putting pressure on d7. There is some functionality there of that rook. I don't want to win a mere pawn with bishop e6 and rook c6. I want to have lasting pressure here on the king side. Maybe there's another diagonal here to play with. Maybe h4. Knight g5 later. h4, h5, h6. Maybe that's something. Form pawn attack here. Knight g5, queen h5, h6, queen g6, hg, hg. It creates some weaknesses. I think it creates some weaknesses. I don't think black's doing too much here. What if I did play queen h5? Oh, I'm like overcooking this because knight e5 looks dangerous. Yeah, I thought I had g6, but oh, silly maybe because knight e5. Oh well. Well, no, no, that runs into that. No, 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 no. I thought knight e5, knight g6. That's why I thought that was silly just then. There's at least, I mean, maybe there's rook d3, h3 if needed. Yeah, no, it's, it's too much, that pressure. Thanks, Don. Too much pressure there. I think knight e5 was the last chance. Teja, hi there. Okay, um, so G6 and Bishop G6. Okay, another London system trial of the London system. Oh, with Knight C3. So knight f6 and castling. Well, 
Or if I castle and queen e8. Oh, is this hack attack with h5? Well, we had this sort of hack attack before. Uh, I don't want to give white too much dynamic play here, if possible. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, this brings back a bad memory. Um, e5. Now, given h4 was played, I don't mind the exchange of queens here. I want to turn the game more positional into d4 weakness rather than my king getting mated. So things like bishop g4 and knight d4 later. Stuff like that. Okay. So uh, here we go. Hmm. h6. Let's tempo again. Okay, so knight h5 is another tempo gain. Well, there's e4, which is better. e4, trying to dislodge that knight. Now maybe bishop f5. Or you can castle, okay. If I just get rid of the queen's hair for a moment, I'm I'm a bit chicken in this game. Why do I want the queens off? You ask. I'm wondering myself. My chicken. Maybe knight g4 is, is useful here. That f2 is a bit of a liability. What does he do about that? Um, rook d2, rook d8, if knight d4, c5. I think I'm going to torture f2 here at this rate. F2 is the weakness. The one little issue to nag at F2. There's rookie two there. You can play rookie two. B6, C5. Is that is that something? B6, C5. Oh. Okay, I don't want to liberate my opponent's position too much. So back here, I don't want to liberate pieces. Okay, there's that snag, isn't there? Otherwise, that would be very interesting. Okay. It's all falling to bits, and that uh. no, I think it's over myself. I think, uh, yeah, it looks grim. Thanks, Tasha. Yeah, that was a bit okay. Got got in a bit of trouble. Hey, Spectra. Hi there. Okay. 
Um, this is going to a critical test. This casting queenside, isn't that really? F5 coming up. Is a bishop c4? Is f5 really super dodgy to play here? I don't know how dodgy is f5 as dodgy goes. It's a little bit dodgy, surely. Maybe not too much. Oh. Take it here. I think ninety four okay, there's ninety five and ninety seven. That wouldn't be too clever. Try and start guarding or we'll play knight f five. Have I already lost the exchange the way I played this? Because this seems far too uh, sensitive, this possession for knight g5 to f7. It does seem far too sensitive. Yes, it is dodgy what I've played. Okay. Knight g5, queen e8. This looks like emergency procedure already. Knight g5, knight e5 is nudgeable, I think, with f4. Given that by elimination. <laughs> Queenie, Queenie A. Oh no! By elimination. Oh dear. That's dodgy when it's elimination time. What about H6 and King H7? Uh, can I do this to kick this guy out? And then King H7 to protect H6. Oh, don't tell me there's a knockout tactic here, please, though. <clears throat> All right, so knight e5, maybe there's knight c4 after. Okay, d5, maybe there's d4 after. f5 doesn't seem that plausible at the moment. I'm just hoping this uh, d4 is a uh, fun counterplay to be had. Or is that bishop c5? Oh. Now my queen's in the wrong place, surely. Oh, he's on g6. Is there d4? Is d4 plausible? I'm going to imagine as though d4 is plausible. Okay, he's got at least c7 coming up. Is that the least of my worries though? Um, what's this? All right, f6 is coming up. Oh, maybe it was the least of my worries. Okay. Queen c6, is that a move? Or is f6 going to be devastating? Hmm. Rook f6. Hmm. 
my queen's still in the wrong place. Is it, isn't queen c6 plausible? He hasn't really always got f6. Queen c6 has a plausibility. Okay. Fg, knight g6. It's trying to grab a tempo from his queen, at least. As long as f6 isn't devastating. Or this. There's queen e6, rook f1, potentially knight g1. Well, or rook f1 rather than queen e6, if he doesn't take. Has he got bishop f5? Is there queen c2 there? Okay. Well, it's not over yet. Whatever I've done to create weaknesses. Um, although, okay. That covers e7 at least. Looking at bishop f5, king g7. All right, there's... Uh, um, rook e6. I, I like unpinning just to give the knight mobility. Um, bishop d6 gives knight e5 and cuts f4 as well. So rook e6, knight e5. In fact, rook e6. A, oh. Okay, this is looking very interesting. Uh, all of a sudden. I think rook d2 is is exciting. And then maybe knight f4 coming up. Well, I haven't run into a major tactic just yet. This ending looks very nice. Okay, I think the worst is over. Yeah, I think those two past pawns are going to be dangerous with tempo. Thanks. Yeah, no, I was under real pressure there. Dirks. Hi there, a three minute game. Hi, Dirks. Okay. So. <clears throat> One elephant, two elephants, three elephants, uh, uh, four elephants, five elephants, six elephants, seven elephants, eight, nine. Okay, I think I have to abort this. I think uh, all the time. This is a three minute game. Okay, I think I'll play, um, you know, King's Engine Attack. A few moves can be played quickly. There's a nice little standard pattern in this opening. I like. Ah, oh, it's not allowing it. The bishop f six. It's no. It's a different. It's a different system entirely. I was thinking of. Of taking on f6 it's a different system entirely okay I think here maybe c3 and d4 
as a plan, although it's a little bit passive. There's f5 coming up. Yeah. Where are, it looks pretty passive what I've done here now. I like to play the black side of this, exactly how he's played it. Yeah. It's, it's passive. Oh well. Okay. At this point, Bishop G5 might be something. Before things get too passive. It gives me some, I hope it gives me some counterplay. F2 is also a problem. Okay, but he might have some issues here. That's the point uh, to address. Otherwise, it's plain sailing with the pawn storm. But here, I think I'm just throwing him some issues, I think. So rook f1, queen h5. Queen h5 immediately might be an issue. Right here, queen h5, instead of the auto recapture, what would he play? Rook f6, queen h7, king f8. Do I force him to play? Or am I forcing myself to play something horrible? No, I think rook h6, queen f7 there. I think that's interesting. And um, he's got to watch out for queen f7 if rook h6. I don't have to commit to queen h7 here. I have ef and bishop d5 on the cards. Or bishop e4. I think there's compensation now. Giving up the light square bishop is intriguing. I've got this light square bishop without the counterpart. So EF Queen okay, maybe H four H four for a moment. That gives me actually Bishop H three as an idea. Bishop H three here coming up. Alright, so Bishop H three. And then rookie two. Rookie two. There's EF F6 here if I wanted it. Do I want it? Maybe I do. Otherwise, well, what would happen if I retreated? <clears throat> okay, d6 might be vulnerable. I, I think it is in this position. It's another pawn to pick up. And f3 for g4. King eight, trying to keep solid with. Hope I'm not getting knight, mated with knight f4. Oh, 
I want rookie for G4. Mating that. G yeah, it looks dangerous there. G4. All right, thanks. Thanks for the game, Bogdan. Uh, Friedel. Will I be fried by Friedel today? Okay. <clears throat> Are we having our favourite London system discussion? <laughs> no, it's it's with a difference. The bishops on g five today. Oh, good. Okay, I, I'm still playing this. So bishop f five coming up. Does no good. Is that no good here? He's got e4. So e6. Oh, bishop f5 here. He's still got e4. No good. Okay. e5. I'm going to be cheeky with e5. I'm going to try and suppress his e4. I'm going to take it away from him. I want to get this tempo without any e4. No, no, there's knight f5. Okay. All right, h5, nope, h6, nope. I, oh, oh, standard procedure. Knight h7, h4, standard procedure. Form pawn alpha zero would be proud. I think I've seen alpha zero have a, a fantastic draw with uh, Stockfish eight two years ago with a form pawn on h3 and a king's engine. Uh, so, okay, so here uh, is 94 clearly crushing or not? 94 looks almost crushing. I'll go with it intuitively. The form pawn. No, 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 it's exciting me dynamically. That's, that's good enough reason. <clears throat> bishop f5, bishop d3, queen d3, bishop f5. I don't know how white can survive this with the king there. I'm going to play b5, d4, d3. It looks crushing. Although I have given up my dark square bishop, which is a violation of the king's engine defense. But I might be able to get away with it, I hope, on this occasion. So bishop d3. All right, that bishop's pinned for a moment. Can I just build up? Was there d4 here? Is d4 possible here? d4. We'll just build. 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 Double. Or if I take and then there's rook e3. I'd rather have rook e3 here rather than him controlling. Uh, d4 with queen d4 later rook e3 no control of d4 for white here double the rooks so i'm going to double the rooks i'm looking out for tactics as well okay rook e8 okay get control of d4 do i Queen b4, queen a5, king f8, there's queen h8. All right. Queen c6 for rookie 8. 
Okay, Queen C6. Try and get this other rook into the game. There's also Queen A4 to think about. Or D4 for C3. There's also Queen F3 threatens to win a pawn or two. So two principal threats, C3, Queen F3. Or I could take in C3 and get some material back. Or I could play Queen A4, B3, CB, Queen D3, B2. What about if I just take, oh. I don't want to release the pressure really. This line with b3, c takes queen d3, b2. If I can get knight f6 at some point. Then I could play c3. Queen e5, c3. That would threaten cd. That is dangerous, surely. c3. Yeah. Is that dangerous? Queen f6, cd. Looks dangerous. If I double, there's rook d1 mating. Rook d8, rook d1. If he plays BC, DC, I double this rook d1 mating. Well, there's rookie 8 here winning material anyway, because that knight's protecting. Uh, the queen's protecting e8 as well. Yeah, kinks. That's dangerous. Yeah, thanks, Gay. That was that was exciting. Thanks. That was really that was really exciting. Hunter. Okay, so Hunter zero three two zero zero four. Interesting. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, one elephant, two elephants. Three elephants, four elephants, five elephants, six elephants, seven elephants, eight elephants. Okay, we've got a game. Tango. So knight f6, bishop c5, d6, a6. Standard plan. Bishop a7. H6. Oh, is he giving up the bishop? Alright, so knight g4 gives me knight h4. This is one of my favourite positions there in chess. I don't know. Hmm. Try and get that pin back on the f2 pawn. Five for a moment or not? Maybe it sort of gets some time if he has to play a three. I wonder if it's better to leave that or to play a five. H five, bishop before h four looks dangerous. Does it matter? That there's a bishop on b four. Maybe it doesn't. It gives me queen g five if the bishop moves. So there's h3 here. Well, 
Oh, that looks wrong. Um, there's knight f2 and bishop g4, isn't that just crushing? Knight f2 and bishop g4. Isn't it just winning the queen? Okay, thanks for the game, Hunter. Yeah, that was, that was interesting. Um, Terry. Hi there, Terry. Okay. <clears throat> Terry007. Is it J James Bond fan? So we haven't quite got a tango here. Let's sort of Nimzo engine position instead. Rubenstein transposition with E3, Nimzo engine. So knight g6, d6. I don't know about e4. I've reserved e4. I don't need to rush necessarily for e4. I do want to fix this guy in the pawn chain. So b6, you know, bishop a6, knight d7, c5 looks Nimzo Indian ish strategy. But am I going to get blasted on the king side? Do I have to play e4 here. On F4, all right, okay, okay. Maybe I should aim to hem the bishop in with E4. Um, so B6, I remember my, I drew with this Grandmaster in a one day game once. <laughs> my only draw versus the GMP it was, but I had a killed bishop. It was terrible. So it was positional torture. H6, knight, E5, this bishop is the focus. H6, knight, E5. I'm going to keep this bishop a prisoner as, as long as possible. So H6, oh, am I liberating that bishop if I take? I am, aren't I? It comes as a trade-off. Oh. <laughs> oh, I wish he didn't make me the side. That's, that's so unfair. That's so unfair, that move. It makes me the side. But I, I do want to keep the bishop a prisoner. Maybe I should just do that as mentioned and not be tempted although it would have given me some upsides i just cannot work it out if it's worth it Yeah, g5 is interesting a little bit. Uh, but there's queen h3, queen g3 at minimum. Otherwise the knight's trapped. The thing is here, okay. Queen. There's g takes trying to mate on, 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 on the file. So g takes and then king h8 trying to mate. G takes um, rook f2, king h8 is dangerous. I think I'll go for that. Oh, there's rook a2. Hold on. There's rook a2. Do I just grab the perpetual? G takes rook a2, king h8, rook f2, rook g1, rook g2. The thing is, in that scenario, he's got knight d6, knight f7. I wonder if I grab 
a perpetual here. Given he's got rook a2 and knight d6 on the cards. Is that knight e5 out of interest to f3? This would accelerate things. Knight e5. Rook a2. Knight f3. Takes, takes. I could try knight e5. Okay, I'm being slightly crazy. I'd play knight e5 <laughs> with the idea of switching a rook to g5. Yeah, I think this might be faster than king h8. This rook in, because I'm immediately threatening knight f3. So f e rook e5, rook a2, rook g5, king f2. Well, rook g2, rook a2. Right, so knight f3 here. Are we winning an exchange to start off with? I can't, can't switch a rook in that quickly, can I? So he's still got the resource rook a2 lurking around. Check. So G takes, he takes a rook. I think, you know, he's going to take the queens off. Is that rook E4 here? Before he takes the queens off. He's got knight d5. Knight f6, rook e6, surely favours me. Bishop still killed enough not to participate on f6. Right, so rook g8 here. Knight f6, rook g7. There's well, there's rook e6. Is that f5? On that, I'll have to go with that. Oh no, hang on. No, no, knight f6 is on my rook. Is that queen g2 here? Yeah, I have to bail out. There's rook c4 with a reasonable end game, surely. Let's bail out here. Damn it. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. That's that's really unfair. I should have just taken the perpetual. Ah I really had something with 95 earlier. That's, yeah, that's too much stuff to work out.
Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's a shame. It's a shame. Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Ah, uh, went for it. I, 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 I could have taken the perpetual, but I would never know. So, yeah, I think if I took the perpetual, I would never know. Knight e5. Okay. Okay, another game. <clears throat> I think this might be the last game here in this session. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it today. Bit of drama, as usual. So, I'm going to castle or h5, maybe h5 here for h4. And then h3. Crawl. So, h3. Bishop G4 for knight D4. So knight D4 C6. Play uh, c6. Mind you, there's bishop f7 there. What am I doing? There's bishop, there was bishop f7 there. These things tend to happen in three minute chess. So, uh, all right. So, um, Why don't I, why <laughs> knight f3 knight f3 check might have been better actually okay I don't know okay all right uh knight f okay b5 maybe b5 is the key thing to get off that light square bishop is dangerous here so bishop d4 b takes. Because I'm weak on the light squares in particular. Take here. Can I afford castling queenside? To at least castle somewhere. G two looks sensitive. These are also I'm positionally fighting on the light squares again. Uh, Rook G eight and F four. Right, this rook b3 is sort of a concern. However, f4. So if I go queen a8 for a moment, a8, cutting across the king still, I want to play, do I want to play fg? What's that about? What's that about? What's this about? That can't work. F takes, bishop takes, bishop e3 check. Uh, if rook f2, queen g2 is mate. That can't work. Not with the form pawn. Bishop e3, bishop e3 and queen g2.
Hang on a sec. Has he got? Didn't he have Queen C five? Queen. Yeah. No. 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 He had Queen C five. Yeah, he had Queen C5. Was that just winning for him? I'm I'm just going to check that. Hold on a sec. Thanks. Just Queen C5 I, I, is a slight fly in the ointment here. I'll have to say. Um, when we go to the end of... Wait, I played this. Oh, hang on. Okay, not not King D seven. I think I think Queen C six was mentioned anyway. Oh well. Okay, yeah, uh, Queen C6 was mentioned. All right, thanks. Uh, quite exciting games there. Hope you are all keeping safe. Washing hands uh, every time you touch the surface. Uh, soap and water gets everything, apparently. Even if you just have soap and water, just soap out everything. Hands, surfaces. All right, keep safe. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, see you next week. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Okay, cheers then.